You live by the homer, you die by the homer. Those strikeouts adding up. Uh, will they haunt the Yankees as we move further into the season or the postseason? From I, I, I mean, I, I don't think so. I mean, I, you know me, man. I, I, I dig the long ball, no doubt about it. Being <laughs> a hitter, I love the power that these guys have. They are always in scoring position from the moment they come up to the plate. Right. I'm telling you, these guys feel real good about it. You live and die with the homer just like you live and die with the three-pointer, man. The Yankees offense is, is all about creating traffic on the base paths and playing for the three run homer. Everybody up and down that lineup has a chance to leave the ballpark. See, the only problem with that is when you go up against the front line pitching and in postseason, you're only going to face the front line aces. So there's not going to be a ton of traffic. There's not going to be a ton of chances to take shots like three run homers. So you're going to have to manufacture some rallies. And what's going to happen is you saw what happened when they were able to expose Seager, guys like that. Bellinger. They, they, Bellinger. they will match up and they will go after them. And that's a rally killer. So you want to cut down on those strikeouts and put the ball in play because you put pressure on the defense. I, I agree. I love their power. You don't want them to chase the swings, but they're going to have to focus on just covering their strike zone and knowing what they can hit don't with. Don't they have enough, the Yankees have enough other hitters around them to supply those base hits when you need them? You don't want to put pressure on the youngsters, though. They're playing well right now. They're, 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 they're confident, but you need those bombers to be in the lineup and be a force to take pressure off the bottom of the lineup because they've done a great job of rolling the lineup and getting those guys five and pats a game. Hey, well, the reason why I do do like that home run is also too in a game like today like you're saying yeah. talking about frontline starters the yeah. chances of going two hits three hits back to back to back is so slim right. like you're saying it was a close game tonight went into the 13th inning nobody scored and we get a, a solo home run to they can't home strike home out home. five times though yeah. they can't do that to a Houston they can't do that to a Kluber because that's a rally killer and I'm telling you they get smart in the mound I'll pitch around two guys to get to him because I know I have the confidence to yep. get him out and get us back in the dugout so I don't want to see those 5k day games going in the second half of the season and the headline Sonny Gray pitching really well for to. the uh, Yankees where would the Dodgers be if they didn't have Matt Kemp man they'd be in last place by <laughs> eight games especially the timing of Turner going down he supplied that power he leads them in every category and he bring an intangible of energy he humbled himself this offseason worked his tail off I know him personally I'm so proud of him and at one point this offseason they weren't even sure that he was going to be in uniform for them so what a difference a day makes and deserving he's having a heck of a year all-star type year yeah this is not surprising I mean Matt Kemp can hit when he's overweight he can hit when he's skinny. He can hit at night. <laughs> he can hit during the day. Uh, the thing that I like most about this is I feel like he's really taken on that veteran leadership right. role. Guys like Jock Peterson, Bellinger, Puig, Taylor. I mean, in that young lineup, you need a veteran guy to hold it down. I mean, they've won, what, 15 out of their last 19, scored yeah. over 100 runs. Yeah. I mean, this team is mashing, and like you're saying, they're going to move up. When you say you know him, what did he think that, hey, this is my last chance, or do they really want me here but for him to have the kind of year he's having? I think he just heard the whispers around the league started to bounce around they wanted them they wanted to push him out of Atlanta and, and money's not an object at this point you want to do what you love to do he loves the game of baseball loves LA. he's humble this is his city and he worked his tail off he did everything he could changed his diet and he earned that job oh, yeah, from did. spring training all the way to today and now it's not a hope it's a need for him to be in that lineup and he's a true power threat and yeah, a heck of an athlete I'm really proud of the well, guy that's what I'm saying man I mean for him to be where he was and go through some of the injuries and right. go through some of the struggles for him to come back to LA where it all started for him and mm -hmm. to have the season that he's having right now literally they're embracing carrying that team on his back through this rough time man it's a lot of fun to yeah. watch man Good let's job. uh we hope it continues i know you both think that it will